Hello everyone, this is Robek here from extreme-coding.blogspot.com and today's tutorial is about licensing uh, your free software. Let's imagine for, uh, for instance that you develop an application that can be useful to, to other people and you want to distribute that application as a freeware. Why should you license that application and I instead of just putting it on the internet? Uh, licensing is good because uh, you're telling people that you done that application so if they have any doubts or if they want to talk to you something about that application uh, they know that was you and second of all if they, that peop if people come across that application or, or your code if it's also open source uh, on the internet the people will can will know through the license that 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 is free and they will not fear uh, have fear to use your code or your application not knowing if it's if it's free or not so you're telling the people that th this is free you can use it uh, and I made it if you have any question if you need something just contact me uh, so one of the great uh, options that you have to license your Software, software is using the GNU license. The GNU license are um, licenses that are specific for free, where and also open source software if if it's the case. Um, and uh, the most recent uh, license is GNU GPL uh, that that stands for General Public License uh, Version Three. Uh, so pretty quick what this this license says that th th that you are free to use the software for any purpose commercial or not um, uh, for instance if you have a, an, an enterprise you can use this software is not is not just free for personal uses uh, you are free to change the software if you need some some feature that the software does not provide you can code it yourself that's obviously if, if you give the code uh, also to the people you are free to share uh, the software with your friends and everyone that you want and you're free uh, to share anything that you change so that's pretty much a standard uh, free and open source license so um, this tutorial is about how to license your software so you have an application you know this license how you license your software. Uh, in the site there is a um, uh, how to uh, but uh, there's a lot of text to read and I'm gonna break it down to you really quickly and really simple. So what you need to do is first of all you need to include in every in every one of your source files uh, header saying that this source file is licensed under the GPL license. So let's, for instance, I have here the, this uh, this little application that I created that does nothing but showing a label, and I want to license this application to share with other people. So I can come here uh, and I can search for the. Uh, okay, I don't need. I'm, I'm being stupid. Uh, I can come here to to my source files and I'm gonna just add this adder so let's see for instance this is easier uh, I'm gonna put uh, th this link right here in the in the video description um, and you will be able to come here quickly to copy paste this so let's say for instance uh, shit, on top of this I copy this uh, as a comment, of course, and where in every place that the um, that says foobar, I'm gonna replace with my application name. In this case, let's just call it uh, my app, and I got one here, and I got one here, and I think that's it. So what just this is saying is. Uh, uh, my app is a free software and you can distribute it and modify under the terms of the new public license and pollution. 
So it's it's resuming the terms of the license and saying w what license this have and giving a link to the license. So you just do this in every single source file that you have. Let's come here. So this way you are licensing every one of your source files. Um, this is uh, uh, for the case that your application is also open source. You can have a free application that you give for free to people to use and or you can have a free and open source application that you give people the application and the code if they want to change something and redistribute new version uh, with their improvements and uh, things like that. So in this way I licensed my source files. So other thing that you should uh, do in case this your application is open source and uh, you want to distribute your application your application code is in, uh, inside uh, near to the source files you should have a text file uh, the standard is calling is calling the file copying so inside this you gonna put the license um, the license uh, terms so if you're using the uh, GPL um, GPL license that is the standard one you can copy this and come here paste this save so when people download uh, your let's say zip file with your source code they can read the full license here um, in this file. That's also one of the parameters here. You also should include a copy of the license itself somewhere in the distribution of your programs or programs. So the, the the license is usually a file called copying. So it's here if you want to, and you should to you should read all of this. Um, so we are already insert the header we already created the copying file so another thing that we should do is on the application itself we should have a way to tell people um, if wha what license do do we use um, so uh, the most common way is using uh, the license file in the installer of the application when you have to agree to the terms of the license uh, that that's also the way it, it should be and in, in if you have any doubts how to create a license file in the installer of your application uh, leave that question in the comments and I create a video how to insert a license file into a application installer but other way is uh, normally you have in your application some info about your application that window where you put my application version 1.0 you insert the like your website so people can go and get some support or some news and you also can insert the copyright uh, this C it's um, it's not um, needed but you can put it um, you should put the year uh, where your application was developed. Uh, if you finish the, this application last year, you insert 2012. Um, this in this case is to, uh, I I'm sorry 2011. In this case, if it was this year, insert 2012, and you can put your name. You can also uh, let's say for instance uh, say what what license. Uh, this is uh, that's also uh, the, m the most important thing and I forgot so let's just uh, insert real quick another label here and we're gonna just uh, say under GNU GPL uh, V3 uh, license so like this, it's not, it's not really important for this case, but the appearance. So, when people run your application and gonna um, check some info about your application, you're saying that this application is copyright 
uh, was copyrighted this year to your person under the GNU GPL V3 license. So people can know what license this have through the installer first, but if they just accept and don't uh, read, which is most usual these days, um, they, they always can check here if they have a doubt whether they can use this or not for free they can come here and check so pretty much uh, that's it uh, in the next in the next tutorial I'm gonna talk about uh, SourceForge that is a website uh, for open source and free software where you can uh, create uh, your project, insert there your application uh, information, screenshots, your source files, your installation file, insert everything, everything there, even create a wiki where you can uh, insert user guides um, and people can go there and download your your application for free, uh, post reviews on your application, um, uh, track bugs uh, everything so it's a great community and it's a great uh, website for you to publish your applications so other people can use them too so that's it for now I hope uh, it helped in some way and I see you next time